Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's another episode of the back page. Before we get, in, before we get in this uh, episode of the back pages, guys, thanks for the support on the Fence Faros video. If you haven't checked that out, check it after this video. It's a really good video. Thanks for supporting that channel, and um, hopefully we can do it in this video as well. Uh, keep it going. So um, today I'm going to be talking about obviously from the title of the video, it's um, to do with obviously um, the Green Brigades, a banner, and obviously the boys. Um, the other, the other kind of main. Um, you know, but uh, what we would call it at uh, the you know the main kind of sec, you know, the main kind of section of it, uh, Celtic Park. You know, they kind of they're down, you know the second obviously the Green Brigade, obviously the the boys that's their name uh, up the top. Um, who had the banner saying something between um UEFA and police no respect for fans, uh, and it is true. Uh, we're going to discuss a lot more into detail because of our kickoff time and half free kickoff Celtic. Destroyed a uh, fence fire, it could have been 5 0 in the second half, uh, first half dodgy. Um, but we had to talk about the fans, they came out and they're 50,000 yesterday at half the kick. I've showed you if I write up uh, for all that stuff, but it's true. If I do think about you know TV money, all that stuff before fans, it's true. Uh, th there's no word to rely about it. Um, here we go on the daily record, we got it online today because. I do have the paper there, but it doesn't really discuss what I kind of want to discuss. So, Celtic fans slam UEFA with a uh, banner as Police Scotland also uh, cop Mac for Europa League kickoff time. The 3.30 on Tuesday start time for the Ferns Farish match. Um, two notable sections of the pack in support, obviously, I was talking about. Two Celtic fan groups hit out at UEFA with a X rated banner over um, the fixtures decision that caused the Europa League clash to kick off at half three on a Tuesday, which is ridiculous. Police Scotland also get in the neck, um, the neck, sorry, with another visual protest from seeing supporters. Postgres side faced off against Hungarian champions Fens Faros in the Group G clash with both sides pointless after two games. Obviously, you know, the score is 2 0. Brilliant, I said in my score bricks, uh, preview. Um, the stakes were high, uh, come kick off with Real Betis and Bayer Leverkusen occupying the, two, the top two slots, but third place, um, Consolation in the form of Europe by conference places also up for grabs, but both the Green Brigade and the boys sections of the Celtic Park and Fold as it was the boys section as I was talking about. Celtic Park and Fold banners that slammed those responses for unusual kick off time. The COP twenty six climate conference that is taking place in the city is set to stretch police Scotland to resources to the limit. I mean Celtic couldn't face Fens Farrell's from match day four and switching the fixture to this week. Uh, which I get. There's no doubt about that. I get I get the, the COP twenty six thing, I get that. But why couldn't you? What? Who? Who? who but with Rangers also playing at home, that meant you know the game couldn't take place on Thursday, moving the game once more to Tuesday. But I couldn't see the reason why it couldn't couldn't have moved to quarter to eight, or eight o'clock, or whatever the usual Europe length eight o'clock kick off. Why couldn't it make eight o'clock kick off? It's a joke. A half three. I did go to the game, um, but uh, it's a joke for other people. You know, you know, important people who work and all that stuff. on oh, screws, probably you know, but. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. But the fans came out in their thousands. It's a song, you know, um, fifty fifty thousand something. And the final blow, and one that irked uh, fans the most, a potential class for Champions League games that night meant UEFA ordered the game to be brought to forward to half three kick off. That's a joke as well. But Europa League, Champions League, switch your channel over. Again, that shows you TV money. Oh, they want the money first. Oh, we don't care about fans. Oh, we don't care. That's, a, that's honestly a joke what they're saying there. With many supporters due to being work or obviously school at the time it was um, prompted a double banner protest against those who made the decision. The boys banner read, Police and UEFA, as I said, no respect for fans. Meanwhile, the party had stand in section the Green Brigade on further countdown inspired display. It featured an anagram that read F FC UK UEFA. Well, we all know what that means, eh? eh with the message Condrum Crew fans before TV. And it is true. UEFA typically take a dim view of banners aimed at the European governing body, with Celtic Cop in a 21k fine for a similar banner and the use of flares in the game against um, Udinese, I think that's how you say it, in 2011. Like I also mean well, we're charged 63k for a full stand display after a thrown out the Champions League qualifying for fielding an eligible player against Celtic, um, which bore the message, because football doesn't matter, money does. And that's a, that's a brilliant message from Lego Warsaw, even though they got thrown out the Champions League qualifiers, it was a Ronnie Dial era. You know, that's a brilliant message. That is honestly a brilliant message. Um, you know, you know, because football doesn't matter, money does. It does it, it, as simple as that. 
Um, fans don't matter in UEFA's eyes. It's all about the money. They, they don't care about fans. Of course they don't. Absolutely don't. Yeah, that's becoming a joke. And we'll, we'll pull up here. We'll pull up the back pages. Why not? Obviously, it's good to see Kyogo in the back page and his boys phone in the slick. Get it. Because they have free kickoff time. But here we go. And they have no time for the UEFA kickoff conundrum. Celtic fans have hit out at UEFA with X rated as just the same as the daily record here. Um, this one caused the Europe League clash to kick off at half three yesterday. Please, Scotland also get in the neck. Um, and what, let's turn to page. Let's turn. Let's turn to it. Because I feel like we've got to discuss it. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know all that stuff, please subscribe and like and share the video as per usual because the support has been great. There we go. Um, now, Ange can spell success, all that stuff. Cut down theme as Celtic fire. Back a UEFA early kick off. Um, Celtic fans on field. Just take this out of the paper, why not? Um, here we go. So Celtic fans unveiled a countdown theme banner to dig up UEFA for a ridiculous kick off time, and it was g fair play to get the game again because they always put a great banner out, and this time they show you know what UEFA are all about money before fans, fans before TV. You know, that, that, um, well, well, that's what it should be, fans before TV, but that's obviously not, so, that's what they're trying to, try to say out, you know, it should be fans before TV, they should say, oh yeah, fans can't get that game, so we should do something about it, I, I don't get the, the, the TV before fans where, switch on another channel, do you know what I mean, I remember the days when Sky had Champions League, that was great, you know what I mean? Sky Day something, do you know what I mean? But it's all, it's all money, that's it. Um, but it was a couple of nine letter words that made sure the hoops solved the Open League conundrum, conundrum against Fens Faros. The first was no surprise, for it actually always spells danger, but what a ball it was from Jota. Uh, but the second was one we didn't know Ange Posco had in his vocabulary, def defending. And Kyogo could have been stuck in the house watching Car Carol Vodman and Kyogo. <laughs> Until he pulled one out the drawer to send Celts on their way, David Tomlin would force uh, an OG second, but it was the afternoon where Celtic manager showed on our side. So that's it there. Um, it's just, I mean, at the end of the day, we, we show EFA up saying, maybe EFA probably think, oh, we've got hundreds of money in our back, hundreds of back pockets, ah, Celtic fans, they're never going to come out on a Tuesday afternoon at half three. Well, proved you wrong. 50,000. 500 or something, something around about that, but it was great to see the support, you've seen the guys in the match day vlog if you've watched already, the huddle was great as well, it was brilliant, it was, uh, it was honestly brilliant, um, a good European result as well, uh, puts us back in contention as well, because I don't want to be in the conference league, I mean that's, phew. but that just shows you up UEFA, because um, it should be fans before TV, but it's never going to be like that, is it? It's always going to be money, it's money, TV, money, everything to do with money before um, that matters uh, what Lego Warsaw put up um, a few years ago when Celtic um, were playing them. So what they said was because it doesn't matter when he does, and that's simply that. Um, that's how this, that's how it works, and um, I don't think it will change. But it's a great message from the Green Brigade. You've seen it, um, and it was a great result for Celtic. Um, I don't know where you know Celtic will get charged. They shouldn't because it's a clear message. It's a good message. Um, even the boys, you know, saying, um, if we go back, um, police in UEFA, no respect for fans. They don't, they don't care about, they don't care about fans. They honestly don't. They have no respect for fans who, to make, who made the, who made football. Do you know what I mean? If there was no fans, there'd be no football. Now that, that's simply that. Um, and I think I'll leave it on that, guys, because it's a great message. If there was no fans, there'd be no football. The fans... Support the club, help the club, merchandise, season tickets, tickets, just normal tickets. They come in their thousands to support the club. If there would, there would be no Celtic, there would be no Rangers, there would be no clubs, Real Madrid's, Liverpool's, if there was no fans. And it's a joke, UEFA, absolute joke to kick off time yesterday, it's an absolute joke. 50,000 would be great though, show right UEFA, UEFA right up. Um, and it should never happen again, but it's also going to happen because it's TV before fans. So I, it's always so. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, another episode of the back pages. Please subscribe, like, share the video as per usual.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a video soon.